wanna get my guy headers, they hate me. They said that this nigga fucking her. Wanna wanna see me lately. Wanna why they bitch wanna date me. Wanna why they cannot escape me. Wanna why some goofy nigga on the internet richer than them with brace teeth. I'm gonna with you, I'm gonna fuck it up. Get them records, I fuck with my boss. Say you want me, then you out of love, baby girl, you out of love. That's all she never gonna club. Like a whore, invite me to the club. Put your sex, it don't wanna chop me, girl. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kendall Alexis and in today's video, I will be showing you guys over 20 pieces that I picked up from Shein. I placed this order a few weeks ago, but better late than never. If you would like to see how I paired a lot of these items, don't forget to go ahead and follow me on Instagram where a lot of these pieces will be featured. Alright y'all, so this haul is going to be a little bit different than my first video, which if you haven't watched my first ever Shein try on haul, you should definitely go check that video out after you watch this one. So one of the first pieces that I have is this shirt, which says Michigan western usa and then it says michigan in these pink letters and i feel like this is such a cute little graphic crop top just to pair with like some jean shorts exactly the ones that i have on here is what the jean shorts look like the jean shorts are super duper big as you can tell in the back i have a lot of gap in the back they don't fit too too bad but they are definitely big around the waist and i feel like i could get them taken in a bit but these are such cute ripped shorts and they're not too too short they are very high-waisted. I love a good high-waisted jean short legging. I love anything high-waisted because when I go to eat the shirt, it's actually not as see-through as some shirts that I have picked up from Shein before. Next, I have another little graphic crop top, which if you know me, like if this is your first time seeing me, you are going to find out very quickly that I love some good loungewear, like anything that's like plain and simple, you know, very comfy. Sign me up. I'm going to buy it every single time because who wants to sit in uncomfortable clothing all day it's cute for a picture a little night out so i have another little graphic crop top which i think is super cute it has malibu written across the top you can pair it with this with some sweatpants or even again with these little jean shorts it's super cute i feel like the reviews set me off because i really wish i would have sized down in this shirt i also like my shirts to be very form-fitting this is giving a little bit too loose for me because as you can see it's like bunching at the top and then like it's a little loose right here and i would just prefer it to be a little bit tighter but nonetheless it doesn't fit too too bad and i think i could still get away with it i promise i didn't just get all cropped graphic tees this is the last graphic tee that i went ahead and picked up it just says see you later and i think this is a cute little crop top once again to just throw on when you want something a little bit more comfortable a lot of the times like during the nights in summer you want to have something real chill real cute so that's what i was aiming for when i went ahead and picked up these cropped graphic tees it's just a looser fit of a crop top obviously this one isn't gonna be skin tight i feel like this would not be a haul from me at least if i did not pick up at least a few basics and like i said if i like something in one color i'm gonna buy it in all the colors that i like hello like who doesn't want multiple colors of the same thing like it's just I don't know it just clicks in my head for me I don't know about you but. so I just bought this basic bodysuit and I think these are the skim dupe Shein bodysuits that everyone likes to rave about on TikTok throw a bodysuit on put some pants on and there's your outfit like it's that simple and that's what I love about bodysuits they're just simple and it doesn't take much to put an outfit together let's not forget that they're also comfortable I got this in this little beige cream color obviously as you can tell you can kind of see it's not not the thickest it is a little bit see-through but i think for its price point i think that it is a pretty good bodysuit it has a lot of stretch to it yeah y'all i'm in love with this bodysuit in love with the color i have this bodysuit in two other colors i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what the other colors look like do y'all really want to see it do y'all really need to see me in the same bodysuit and two other different colors I'm gonna show y'all real quick. All right, so here is what the blue color looks like. It kind of looks like, I don't know, it's a really pretty blue. Like, I feel like it's not really showing up on camera what the blue really looks like. Here's the little blue color. And then lastly, this is what the black bodysuit looks like. So very comfortable, love a good bodysuit. It has a lot of stretch to it. It's super comfortable. It's not too restricting. And I feel like it just hugs me in all the right places. And I just can't wait to put on some sweatpants with this or even just some putting a bodysuit on or even a two piece. It just makes it look like you tried when you didn't even really try. 
I feel like we've seen this outfit done so many times that like I don't even know why I went ahead and picked up this outfit because it's like girl this outfit is so used and abused but I think it is so cute and simple but it's just the white silk button down but obviously I just went ahead and tied it in the front just to make it a little bit more cropped and a little bit more chic and cute we've seen the ripped blue jean and white silk crop top combo I feel like I definitely had to give the girls my take on it all right so next thing that I bought was just this white little scoop neck crop top which it is super cropped so obviously I know this is not a lot of people's cup of tea if you are not comfortable with wearing a super crop top like this like trust me I understand but I feel like this outfit is just so freaking cute like I feel like this would be a chill cute summer outfit to just throw on like I said I'm all down for the comfy outfits and this is giving very much that like I tried but I didn't really try you know what I mean like the jean shorts make it look like I tried a little bit little crop tops like like this you can't go wrong with and I feel like these also work well when you want to pair them underneath something which is exactly what I did with this pink two-piece set this is also very versatile and you can wear it just like this with a pair of shorts it is a little bit see-through because it is white but for the price you can't really expect a super thick quality sometimes she and do be coming in clutch with the quality and I'm so happy with how this fits especially because I am a girl with big boobs don't even get me started all right y'all so here is one of the dresses that I picked up I feel like this dress is so cute it has a cutout in the back the straps are adjustable and obviously let's get into this front action I feel like this is so freaking cute obviously like I said your girl got some big old boobs and I would not wear it like this I would not wear a bra with this I would either just you know let them do what they do or I would wear boob tape which I definitely need to go ahead and purchase some boob tape but yeah I think this dress is super cute it is a little bit see-through because I can't see like a little bit of my underwear lining but it's not too too bad but I feel like this is such a cute dress as you can see they do have cutouts under the boobs I don't want to say that it's not big boob friendly because anything can fit anybody obviously it's gonna look a little bit more flattering on other people but I don't want to say that it excludes any of the big boob girls because you wear whatever you want I got the mint color because I think this is just such a cute freaking color especially against my skin tone as well as like when I'm tanned and everything this is also petite girl friendly it falls exactly where it needs to fall and it's not dragging on the floor here's another dress that I would very much need some boob tape for I saw people in reviews and I'm like I'm not gonna let my big old boobs stop me from buying the dress so I went ahead and and pick this up I feel like this is such a cute dress to especially wear on like a little brunch like I don't know it's just giving very much brunch vibes to me and it has these cutouts in the front with the ties in the front I would definitely need some blue tape if I were to let this go you would see literally my whole bra so I'm just gonna save y'all and save me and I'm gonna just hold it like this I definitely could have got this if my boobs weren't so big I definitely could have got this in a smaller size because I feel like I would want the skirt to be a little bit more form-fitting this is a one piece it did not come in two separate pieces so your girl has to take into account these it has ruffles and then it has this little v-cut in the front and i think this is such a cute brunch vibe if you've been on tiktok i'm pretty sure you've seen this dupe for the skims dress if you have not i don't know what side of tiktok you're on everyone raves about how this dress is literally the dupe for skims and if you don't want to pay that skims price but you want to have that skims shapely but for a little bit more inexpensive like definitely this is the dress the only thing that i don't like about it that i think is super weird is that it has it has this like little bra piece in the front and it kind of does like this type of thing and i would just rather it not have have that little lining in there but besides that I definitely love this dress it's definitely giving bodycon all the way down so this is how far down the dress comes it hits me right above my ankle and right below my knees this is gonna be short girl friendly as well because it's not swallowing me as I'm wearing it you'll have to pay attention to what underwear you wear because as you can tell you can see the band of my underwear I don't know about y'all but I'm definitely that girl where it's like I don't want my underwear showing I don't want no underwear lining showing I don't want my bra strap showing like that literally irks me so freaking bad and I hate when my bra straps show it's a hard no for me all right so the last piece of clothing that I have is going to be this dress and I'm not going to show y'all the bottom because it is very very see-through and you can very much be able to tell what type of underwear I have on today and we're just not doing that this is the dress you can just imagine what it looks like it pretty much looks like a lot like the last dress where it hits me right where the last dress hit me and it's a little bit more flowier but it's definitely still a little bit more body kind as you can see it does have a scoop neck I definitely love this scoop neck I feel like you know I don't know a little bit of cleavage never hurt nobody besides it being super 
see-through that's the only con about this dress it is very very see-through it is rip material and it's super stretchy you could definitely size down i would have definitely sized down but i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to wear this out because how am i gonna be able to wear it out when everybody six feet away from me can tell what underwear i'm wearing today so so now i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the accessories that i picked up if you could tell in the beginning of the video i did have my hair up in a claw clip and let's just be real claw clips are very much so coming back a good claw clip if you feel like you look a little bit like mm, get you a claw clip just the sway of your hair it just immediately boosts your confidence like i don't know love a good claw clip it is so freaking cute it's very awkward with these braids for me to put it up in a claw clip it still looks cute so that is one of the accessories that I went ahead and picked up. I also picked up a few earrings, but y'all, I put some earrings in my ears and I knew, I knew good and well that when I ordered them, they were not gonna last very long and they literally have my ears itching. So I had to take them out. I literally don't have any earrings. If you know me, you know I have a lot of piercing on my ears, but I literally don't have any because I just could not take the itching. I would not recommend them because my ears were literally turning green. And next, I went ahead and picked up these acrylic black glasses these glasses are literally the cutest glasses ever i definitely think you can tell that they're super dirty but i've actually worn them once already i don't think i'll be putting these down anytime soon this would amplify your simple chill outfit times 10 it's just the glasses for me like the shape and the everything the thick sides are just giving everything that it's supposed to get they have these in another color they have it in like a tortoise -y shade and glasses and i definitely want those because i feel like those would look super cute as well i feel like it wouldn't be a haul if Kendall didn't purchase a bag and I did purchase two bags this is one of them it's just this orange and it's given very much Halloween it's given like the witch's bag like it is so freaking cute if the straps weren't as long as they were if they were just a little bit shorter I feel like it would have made it even better it's a rouge bag I don't know exactly how I'm gonna wear this or if I will ever wear this because I'm good for buying stuff and not putting it to use you just can't go wrong with the bag like I feel like bags are very much necessary in a girl's life like I don't know if you love bags as much as me but baby the other bag that i went ahead and picked up is this little beige knit tote bag and i feel like this is so cute this is what the bag looks like i feel like this would be super cute with a chill outfit i don't know it's super thick and i have yet to wear this bag yet but when i do i can't wait to wear it it does have a button to clasp it closed but i feel like it's literally hanging off by a thread all right y'all so i am almost done with this haul i just have to show you guys a few pairs of shoes that i went ahead and picked up first of all let's just talk about this color because i love green so much here are the first pair of shoes that i went ahead and picked up which are these bubble slides i have worn these before these are so freaking cute if you've been on tiktok then girl you know like these shoes were trending for a hot minute and they probably still are trending these are so comfortable shoes i feel like a lot of the girlies were being stingy with where they were getting their bubble slides from when i was going through shan's website looking at what i wanted to purchase and i saw these shoes i immediately no questions asked added it to my cart i had not seen a lot of people wearing the ones with the open toes and i was like okay we're gonna try the little open toe because i feel like the open toes would have been a moment which i in fact was correct i love the open toes i definitely still want to go ahead and pick up the ones the closed toe ones now the only thing about these slides i don't want to say they run a little bit small but i think i got my regular size because it was in european sizes so i'm not completely sure if i did end up getting my original size but whatever size i got it it literally fits like if it was a little bit smaller it would have not fit the next pair of shoes that i did pick up are these white little scrunchy type of slides and i feel like these are super basic you can just throw them on with pretty much anything because they are white the only thing about these shoes is obviously as you can tell they are super flat so when i was wearing these my feet were literally crying for help because this is a very flat shoe and it just was not agreeing with my arch they do have some padding in the back it was not enough support for what i was wearing that day they're just so cute and super basic and i feel like you just can't go wrong with throwing them on with pretty much anything you need a quick shoe i love a good chunky sandal like anything platform i'm here for it i feel like these out of the country would be like chef's kiss i don't know what you would call this i feel like you would call it woven part of me feel like that's just not what they call it these would be such a look if you pair it with the right things they definitely run true to size if they even carried these in like a half size bigger i feel like that would be even better because i would have a little bit more extra room so the last pair of shoes that i went ahead and picked up are these white strappy heels you just can't go wrong with a basic pair of white strap heels like heels like these in black and white i feel like are very much staples that every girl woman should have in their closet because you can never go wrong with a white or black 
black heel. Anything that you wear, you can pretty much get away with. The heel isn't too high. It's a very comfortable heel if you tie it underneath. Like, there's like a heel hack with these lace up heels, and trust me, it works wonders. Like, when I wore this, I feel like my feet was hurting a little bit, but they wouldn't have been hurting as much if I did not use that hack, if that makes sense. The arch is a little bit steep, but it's not steep as some other heels I've seen. Like I said, you can't go wrong with a white or black pair of strappy heels. And I'm definitely trying to get more into heels. Like, you girl want to get dressed up and go to brunch and have mimosas. All right, you guys. So, we have finally made it to the end of this video. That is everything that I picked up from Shein a few weeks ago. I am in love with pretty much all the pieces that I have. Make sure you go ahead and comment down below your favorite piece if you're going to pick up anything. If you would like to purchase any of the pieces that I showed in this video today, then don't forget to check the description box. I will have all the links down in the description box as well as what size I picked up in every single item. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that is where a lot of these pieces will be featured. If they're not featured on my Instagram, then make sure you watch my stories. I'm very active on my Instagram stories or you will see them in the vlog somewhere. So don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because if you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next one. Yeah, right there. 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 Yeah